Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So I want to share with you all why I almost never eat pork in my carnivore-based diet. And I think it's very important for people to be aware of what I'm going to share with you in relation to this specific topic for other people that also have meat in their diet. So if you're someone that actually cares about having an optimal state of health within your mind and body holistically and optimizing your longevity and just your mood and overall cognitive functions, then it is best to limit your pork intake or you could eliminate it altogether because it isn't necessary to have it in any way, shape or form. If you feel that you don't want to have it, you don't need it. It's not going to be anything that's in it that you are going to be lacking that can affect your health in a negative way. Because with pork, all the things you find in it, you can find in other meats. But the other meats will not have some of the issues that pork has. So, one of the huge issues with pork is its omega-6 to 3 ratio. It is around a 10 to 1 omega-6 to 3 ratio which is a, a very imbalanced omega-3 to 6 ratio. And when you're having so much more omega-6 than omega-3, it causes inflammation within the body. And out of all the meats that I am pretty much aware of and I've done research into, pork has the worst 6 to 3 ratio. But if you compare it to pasture-raised chickens, they're 6 to 1. Lamb is a 3 to 1. Beef is a three to one. So that's why lamb and beef is one of the best choices out there as a meat source due to it having a more optimal six to three ratio, which so many people on all different types of diets are normally getting way too much omega-6 and not enough omega-3. And inflammation is a huge issue causing a whole host of health issues and symptoms holistically. And there's even research out there that you can look up into this specific thing that it actually massively shortens people's longevity, it increases the risk of heart disease and heart attacks and a whole host of other things as well. And pretty much every health issue and symptom out there will normally come back to inflammation. There's other things that could cause them as well, but this is a huge factor. So if you're someone that cares about feeling your best, then this is one of the reasons why you would want to limit or remove pork from your diet completely. And then there's a second issue. Pigs do not have sweat glands whatsoever. What they can do is wallow in water and they will start to release toxins from the underneath of their body. But if you are buying pigs from factory farm sources, they're pretty much never going to be around a source of water to actually remove a lot of toxic substances in their body. And guess where the majority of toxins accumulate? Within humans and also animals, within the fat. So if you're eating factory farmed pork, oh my god, you are eating something that has a really bad omega-3 to 6 ratio and then it's going to be full of so many toxic substances and toxicity is a root cause of so many different health issues and the more toxic you are the more it's going to shorten the caps on the end of your DNA known as telomeres and this is what determines how long you are going to live and there's so much research out there to show the more toxic you are the more the telomeres will be shortened and then it's going to shorten your maximum lifespan which I want to live as long as possible so that's not something that I want to be happening within my body due to eating pork and I can just say from my own personal experience I've tried out so far on this carnival based diet that I've been on for around the last two months after being vegan for around six years and making the switch if you don't know why you click a link for a video that talks about that in more detail is that yeah I've tried pork ribs I've tried a small bit of bacon and some other cuts of pork and I'm telling you now when I've eaten it I do not feel that great it doesn't make me feel amazing, unlike when I eat beef or even lamb. So from my own personal experience as well, I can feel that it's not very good for me. And it just 
makes sense to me now why so many religions and just many different people out there say that they won't eat pig because it's a very dirty animal, which is really, really true. They are a very filthy animal and they're known to eat their own feces and roll around in mud and just be very dirty animals. And it's like, do I want to be really eating such a filthy, dirty animal? No. It doesn't at least make any sense to me. So it seems some of these religions out there actually are talking about something that's really good, which is saying avoid pork at all costs. And yes, obviously a lot of these people are just regurgitating what they've learned from the people that teach them about their religion and certain things they learn about their religion from all different sources. And they don't necessarily know the reasons as to why. Like I've mentioned with the first two reasons with the omega-3-6 ratio and toxicity issues and so on. But yeah, it still seems that they have actually been onto something for a very long time. And there is just many issues with pork. You can just do loads of fire research into this specific subject. But me personally, I almost exclusively eat just beef in my carnivorous diet. And the other meat that I will eat on a not so consistent basis, but it's the second most consumed meat for me, is chicken and I seem to feel really good from that but I don't eat on a regular basis due to the omega 3 to 6 ratio not being as balanced as beef and also most people would normally get on with beef way more than chicken because a chicken is poultry and a cow where the beef comes from is a ruminant and most people seem to get on way better with a ruminant meat rather than poultry meat. And yeah, one last thing I wanna say is yes, there is a lot of people out there that will do the bacon experiment diet where they're eating pretty much only bacon for an extended period of time and it gives them amazing weight loss results, but you can get amazing weight loss results with Twinkies. Someone did that before. They were doing calorie restriction diet that was just them eating Twinkies, but making sure they're always in a calorie deficit and they lost weight. You can pretty much lose weight with any diet as long as you are in a calorie deficit, but that doesn't mean that it's good for you and that you should continue doing that for the rest of your life. And that's why it's called the bacon experiment diet. They don't say you should just eat bacon for the rest of your life. But obviously don't just listen to me. Like I said, do your own research, experiment, and see how you feel. And let me know down below, do you eat bacon and pork and other cuts of the pig? And if so, how do you get on with it? Do you eat on a regular basis? How much do you eat? Or if you don't eat it, let us know down below. Or if you've had any negative symptoms from eating pork like I have, let us know down below what negative symptoms have been induced within you. And before I end the video, I just want to give a shout out to Paleo Robbie, which is a company in Thailand. And I live in Thailand, if you didn't already know that. If you want the most highest quality pasture raised, antibiotic free, hormone free meat and wild caught fish and other high quality animal foods that are not factory farm, I put a link down below for their website and you can get their items that they sell, these food-based items delivered to your door anywhere in Thailand like I do. And yeah, that is it from me and this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. And also, don't forget to leave anything else down below, whether it's some hate or some feedback, or if you want me to make any specific videos, let me know down below as well. And if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to share with others, and don't forget to subscribe to receive a lot more videos like this from me on a regular basis. So as always, stay fit, stay happy, and enjoy the rest of your amazing day. Peace.